Louis, I don't tell you, it's St. Louis. This is where the Ohio and the Missouri come in, and this is where the biggest earthquake in the United States was. And when it happened there, it shook the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. Shook the hell out of Wisconsin. Chicago. But this entire eastern plate, right through the ocean, one solid block of rock, as I understand it. And all this extra weight, and the water seeping down into the faults. And I think that's what we're looking at here. Manipulation of the ionosphere for weather wars in order to use small amounts of energy to trigger massive natural changes. Sort of like looking at the 9-11 building collapses. You cannot look at the airplane as the bomb. The airplanes assuming you believe the official story. But even in that story, the airplanes become the trigger. The building itself was the bomb. The bomb was created with a crane lifting everything up in the air. The airplanes allowed that to be released so that it could all come falling down. Now, personally, I think Tom Bearden Tesla, Scalar Energy, Dr. Judy Woods, John Hutchinson in Vancouver. I think they have a more plausible explanation because after those buildings fell across the street from my bank, they didn't even fill up the basement. The damn basement was empty after those buildings fell. So next we're going to MS, which is probably Mississippi.